Do you use Jest and do you wonder whether VTest is a good alternative? I will give you 5 reasons why I did the switch. Make sure you watch till the end, then you can make a good decision whether you want to make the switch as well. Before we start I want to clarify that Jest is a great library. I really appreciate all the work that went into it. I gratefully enjoyed using Jest for 5 years now. But technology is evolving and Vitest is too good to ignore. So let's start with the first reason I switched. Performance. When we look at testing libraries we have two kinds of performance. First we have the single test run and then we have the watch mode where the tests are re-executed during development. In both cases we should compare apples to apples. Vtest uses ESBuild under the hood to transpile the modules. So when configuring Jest we should take a similar performing transpiler, for example SWC. With this setup we have quite similar performance in the single test run. But it's worth noting that you should pick Happy DOM over JS DOM when using VTest, otherwise Jest can be up to three times faster than VTest. In the watch mode we see a different picture. VTest comes with hot module replacement. This means instead of creating a JavaScript bundle, each module is transpiled separately. In addition to this we have a dependency graph and when a module changes we exactly know which tests have to be re-executed for this change. This way we only execute as many tests as necessary and as many as required. In Jest on the other hand git is used to determine which files have changed. And then there is a best guess approach which test files have to be re-executed. In the past I had some cases where more than necessary tests were re-executed when changing a file. Overall the performance of VTest is better than that of Jest in the watch mode. So VTest is my winner when it comes to performance. The next reason why I switched is the payload, the node module dependencies that come with the libraries. Let's have a look at some numbers. Jest comes with a total of 196 dependencies and it uses 32 megabytes of disk space. When using Vite additionally you have 7 more dependencies and a total of 47 megabytes. Vitest on the other hand has only 61 dependencies and uses 26 megabyte of disk space. So when looking at this, I think Vtest is the clear winner here. The next reason why I switched is the API. Having a good API is important for frictionless test development and maintenance. So what are important differences between Jest and Vtest? First it's worth mentioning that the API is very similar from Vtest and Jest. This is good because we can more easily migrate from Jest to Vtest. But there are some differences as well. Here are two examples. In Jest we have all library functions like before each, describe and it on the global scope. In Vtest on the other hand this is optional. By default you directly import from the Vtest module. From my point of view it's cleaner to import the stuff you need from your modules. The second difference I want to highlight is in the function restore all mocks. In Jest this function is limited to the spies you created with spy on. In Vtest on the other hand all mocks are restored. Restoring mocks in the context of Jest and Vtest means that the call history of each mock is cleared and the edit behavior is reset as well. But the default implementation of the mock stays untouched. I always configure Vtest to run restore all mocks before each test. This way we don't have test dependencies through our mocks. The fourth reason why I switched are the differences in the configuration. The test has really nice defaults. For example it supports TypeScript out of the box, you don't have to configure anything. In Jest on the other hand you would have to configure a transformer to do the job for you. And if you are using Vt, you can reuse this configuration with Vtest. This allows you to use the same plugins you use for application bundling. Looking at the command line interface, I prefer the way Vtest does it. The default is the watch mode and in continuous integration it defaults to single run mode. 
Just on the other hand, we explicitly have to launch the watch mode via dash dash watch. I use the watch mode very frequently, so for me it makes sense how Vtest handles this. Another nice configuration feature introduced by Vtest is the environment matching. With the environment matching globs property, you can configure which environment should be used for which file set. Here you can get rid of all the comments which tell Vtest which environment to run in. Last but not least, my reason for switching is the ECMAScript module support. ECMAScript module support comes out of the box with Vtest. In Jest, on the other hand, the modules have to be transformed to CommonJS before they can be executed within the Node environment. This was not a problem in the past, but now more and more NPM packages ship with only ESM support. So those are the main reasons why I switched to Vtest. If you want a more detailed description, have a look at my blog post linked in the description below. So far I didn't experience any drawbacks by having switched from Jest to Vtest. There is also a great migration guide in the Vtest documentation if you decide to switch as well. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like and as an awesome developer, never stop learning. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.